At the 2021 ASCO annual meeting, I presented initial results from Relativity 047, a global phase three trial comparing relatlimab plus nivolumab versus nivolumab alone for patients with previously untreated, unresectable, or metastatic melanoma. Nivolumab, or NEVO for short, blocks the PD-1 immune checkpoint, and relatlimab, or RELA for short, blocks another immune checkpoint called LAG-3. And although these drugs work through distinct pathways, they have a common goal, which is to unleash an attack by immune T cells against cancer. In our study, 714 participants received either RELA plus NEVO or NEVO alone every four weeks. I should say that the RELA plus NEVO were administered in a fixed dose combination. The median progression-free survival of patients who received RELA plus NEVO was 10.1 months, which is more than double that of the group that received NEVO alone at 4.6 months. This significant improvement meant that the study met its primary endpoint with a hazard ratio of 0.75 and a p-value of 0.0055. The improvement in progression-free survival associated with RELA plus NEVO was observed across patient subgroups, including age, sex, baseline serum lactate dehydrogenase level, baseline ECOG performance status, tumor burden, BRAF mutation status, AJCC stage, and expression of PDL1 and LAG3 in the tumor microenvironment. In general, the treatment-related adverse events associated with RELA plus NEVO were manageable, and reflected the safety profile typically seen with immune checkpoint inhibitors. Treatment-related AEs that led to discontinuation of trial therapy occurred in 14.6% of patients in the RELA plus NEVO group compared with 6.7% of patients receiving NEVO alone. And although the incidence of grade three to four treatment-related adverse events was higher in the RELA plus NEVO arm than with NEVO alone, these adverse events occurred at a lower rate than has been observed with other immunotherapy combinations. Our findings demonstrate that RELA plus NEVO is a potential novel treatment option for this patient population. And as the data from our study mature, particularly overall response rates and overall survival data, we look forward to presenting our findings and discussing in more detail how this new regimen might impact clinical decision-making. Additionally, and importantly, this is the first phase three study to validate inhibition of the LAG3 immune checkpoint as a therapeutic strategy for patients with cancer, and it establishes the LAG3 pathway as the third immune checkpoint pathway in history after CTLA4 and PD-1, for which blockade has clinical benefit. Mm -hmm.